Hello, hello, Jeff Elvin here with Balin Brands, and today I am going to show you how to set up and use an action set in Infusionsoft. So the purpose of using an action set is to basically be able to point out a certain condition on a contact. Uh, at least that's how we primarily use it. So if a particular contact enters a certain type of information, then we want to do something with that particular contact. So um, here I'm going to use this example. So uh, first things first, we're going to set up an actual action set. So under the Infusionsoft navigation, under CRM settings, is where we're going to find action sets. So over here on the left-hand side, you'll see here, action sets. And then we're going to go ahead and click to add an action set. So we want to give it a name. So in this case, we're going to call it, um, I don't know, let's, let's figure something out. Like, let's say we want to do someone's hair color. Okay, whether they're blonde or brunette or red as an example. So I'm going to just type in here hair color because that's the kind of action set we're doing. Now we're actually setting the action set however for the particular hair color. So for, for instance it's not just hair color, it's actually hair color red in this case because we're going to say if they have red hair then do these things. So it's again we're doing the hair color which is what we're after but then also what the end result is. So um, one of the actions that we like to use is let's say we want to add a tag. So if they have red hair, add the tag red hair, for example. So in this case, I'll do like apply or remove a tag, and then we'll apply a particular tag. I'm going to go ahead and create a new one for this example. So we'll just say red hair. And then we can choose a category in here. Um, if you already have one, then great. If you don't, then you can create a new one. But we'll go ahead and just do this under the test category for the sake of here. So we're going to create that tag. And then we only want to run that action set when a certain rule is applied. So that's what we're setting up now is a rule. So if someone were to type in red, then that rule triggers this particular action set. So I'm going to go ahead and click on add a new rule. And then we're going to call this one red hair color and create the rule. And so then we can choose like when certain things are true, when all of this is true, when none of it's true, when any of it's true. Um, in this case, we're just doing the one action set, so we'll go ahead and create all, and we're, we'll hit create criteria. So from here, we actually get to choose any of the actual tracking fields. Now, I didn't set one up for hair color for the sake of this video, but let's go ahead and, and pretend that we have one here. So um, if we were going to do under say tracking and we had hair color under there for example then we could choose choose that so in this case the criteria does it start with something um, does it end with something does it contain something is it empty these are all different things that we can do so in this case we want to do contains okay and we want to contains red if we're doing red hair now there's other names for red hair, strawberry, you know, auburn, I'm not a hair guy, so I don't know them all for sure. Uh, but uh, but if, if we were doing it that way, then we could also do contains any, uh, I'm sorry, contains red, but we can change this when the rule is any of these. So let's go ahead and we're going to choose red, for example, and save that criteria. So then we're going to create new criteria. And we're going to do the same thing where we go and again, let's assume we have hair color here. And then we can say contains. Um, and then we could say strawberry. Doesn't have to match exactly strawberry because maybe they say strawberry blonde, you know, strawberry red. I don't, I don't know what they might say, but let's just say strawberry. So that could also be. So basically it will apply the red hair tag when any of these conditions apply. So that they filled out red or that they filled out strawberry. For example so okay so let's go ahead and save and close that and now we save so the action set we'll go ahead and save that like I said if the hair color is red you know and that basically action set would be true if they were to enter either of those values okay so now that I have that the action set we need to run it okay so that's when we go now into campaigns and we're gonna build a campaign um, I like to use a general campaign for just lead handling in general. You could even call one action sets, something like that, because you might have multiple action sets that are set up in there. So in this case, what we're doing is now we're just gonna create a campaign to run that action set. So we want to, when someone comes in to the system, 
um, maybe you have them tagged as new lead or um, new contact or something. Somehow we need to tag the person when they come into the system. Um, that's one way. Another way is to actually do like an internal form submitted. Um, there's many goals, but let's just let's use tags just for the the ease of building out the campaign here. So if I did uh, new lead, for example, as a tag, and I created that, okay, and I saved it. So if a contact is tagged as new lead, I want it to then run the action set, okay? So I'm going to open this up, and, and in here, there is the option to actually run an action set. So immediately run the action set, and I want it to be the hair color red action set. Okay. Now, as you can probably tell, there's lots of different ways to do this now, right? Like there, we could set it up as one action set that looks for many values. So there isn't like a one tried and true way that everybody's going to use. Um, it's really more about just determining what your um, best, you know, best option is here as far as how many different values you're going to have. Um, but what we've done is now we're going to apply that action set. So the action set's going to run, and if it matches the criteria that we said, it will tag them as red hair, for example. So now I could go a step further and actually say if the red hair tag was applied, then do these several things. You know, send them this follow-up sequence, uh, this video series of what to do with red hair, or send them these product options, um, you know, so forth. So that, that basically gives you the options here at this point now to then take action on the red hair. So this is just one way to use action sets. Um, another way we use it is to actually look and see if a particular field has a value. So like for us, in we have a birthday campaign, for example, and if we put someone on the birthday campaign, we actually check to see if their birthday is in the system. If their birthday is not in the system, well then we send them that customer an email asking them for their birthday. Uh, so that's another example of an action set that we might use. So it's action sets are, are great to utilize when we're trying to find actual uh, data and do things based on what information has been entered. Uh, there's also ways to use radio buttons and different things that apply tags and on forms. So there, there might be many different ways to accomplish this, but as far as using action sets, that's really the primary uh, goal around using an action set is to find a value and if this value exists, then do these things with it. So hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, feel free to email us at team at and we'd be happy to help.